Hi, I'm Marcus with the IndieMusicLab.com. So have you ever wanted to get that 80s synth sound that you hear on songs like Somebody Else by the 1975? Or have you ever wanted to get that big anthemic M83 style synth? Or the psychedelic Tame Impala style synth? If so, then you've come to the right place, my friend, because today I'm going to share with you what I think are the five best synth sounds for producing indie pop. Synth sound number one is the warm 80s saw synth. So to get this sound, just start off with a very basic sawtooth waveform. Then what you want to do is play around with the filter as well as the filter envelopes here. That way you get this sound. Synth sound number two for producing indie pop is the psychedelic synth. So to transform a basic synth sound into a psychedelic synth sound, just start out with a standard sort of sawtooth based synth chord progression. And we're gonna add one thing, this neat little plugin called a phaser, listen. And we're done. Synth sound number three is the anthemic M83 style synth. So step one is start with a bright sawtooth based synth poly sound. So just browse through your synth until you find a sound that sounds kind of like this. Then what you want to do is duplicate those MIDI chords to one, two, or even three new MIDI tracks and browse through some other patches, some other sounds and see if you can layer in and create a more interesting soundscape. Then send all three synth tracks to the same bus with some OTT. All right, number four is the synth and keys layer. So for this type of sound, start with either the synth or the keys. Let's start with the synth. And then record another track. Now don't, for this specific type of sound, don't duplicate the MIDI notes. And actually go in and record on your keyboard a whole new take while still trying to somewhat mirror what you did on the synth but it's not like it's in unison where they're exactly the same notes this creates a more of that human effect And finally, the number five synth sound for producing indie pop is the triple layered lead synth. So for this, start with a synth sound that you like and record a melody pattern that you like. Then duplicate that exact same MIDI pattern to two more tracks and then browse through other patches and other sounds and layer those in while panning them left and right. And then all together. All right, my friend, thanks so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and you want a step-by-step -step plan, go check out my five steps to a Spotify level production guide. 
This is going to help you to take it from step one through step five and make your song so good that it belongs in a top official Spotify playlist. That if it was placed in one of those playlists and it was queued up after a top song on Spotify or by an artist that you admire, it would feel like it's a natural fit. It wouldn't feel like there's this massive drop off. It just feels like it belongs there. That is what I'm here to help you with. So be sure to check out the five steps to a Spotify level production. So 100% free link is in the description. So be sure to grab yourself a copy of that. Thank you so much for watching my friend. I will see you next time.